Zwingli de Eucharistia, Episode 9 Ante omnia vero quorundam columniis satisfacera statuamus, sunt enim qui dicant in tempestiva evogatam a nobis esse hanc verborum Christi expositionem, sunt et alii qui nos carlostarianum vocant, accipiant ergo per Christum absecro nostram, ad iste responsionem tam veram, quam ab omni amaritudine alienam. Zwingli begins this portion, it's a new paragraph you can see, with this preposition. Ante omnia, before all things. In other words, most of all, in fact, vero, of certain persons their calumniis. This is a calumnia, and this form is feminine, plural, and dative. The slanders, the calumnies, the slanders of certain persons, statuamus, we have decided to satisfy, to answer. So in the first place, before anything else, in fact, where we have decided to satisfy or answer, reply to the slanders of certain persons. For there are, sunt enim. Everything else is modification. And in fact, this qui through expositionem, this clause, entire clause, is the subject of sunt. Very commonly in Latin, entire clauses are subjects and objects of verbs. For there are those who. Now we must ask ourselves, why is decant in the subjunctive? The reason why is that this is called a relative clause of characteristic. This indicates that Zwingli does not have in mind particular individuals, but the kinds of persons who might say this. For there are those who would say, so translating this by would in English gives us this idea of characteristic. There are those who would say that, and this in turn is going to introduce a ratio obliqua, or indirect statement, that, and of course we know that the subject of an indirect statement is going to be accusative, expositionem, and the verb is going to be an infinitive, namely esse, and the predicate is a vulgatam. What is it that they say? They say that, suntenim qui, they say, decant that, the explanation, expositionem, of the words of Christ, were borum Christi, this explanation, moreover, here's the adjective honk, modifying expositionem, the demonstrative adjective, that this explanation, or exegesis, of Christ's words, a vulgatam, has been published abroad, a nobis. So, a vulgatam essa, has been published abroad. This is from the verb a vulgo, a vulgo a vulgare, which means to make popular, to publish abroad, has been published by us in tempestiwe, in an untimely fashion. This is an adverb. You can see in there the noun tempus. They are um, cognates, these words, and in tempestiwe means not timely, in an untimely fashion. And there's another group. There are also others, sunt etiam alii, others who, and see this is a relative clause of characteristic again, there are others who would say that we, nos, that's the accusative, subject of the indirect statement, the oratio obliqua, and essa is implicit, that we are Karlstadt, that's this gentleman here. Therefore, I pray them by Christ, per Christum obsecro, they should accept our answer to these things is as true as it is removed from all bitterness.